What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay and we are out here in the big boat today, out here on the lake, and we are out here to chase down some spawning bluegill and red ear. We haven't done this at all yet this year. We're honestly kind of behind the eight ball on this, but um, we're hoping we'll be able to find some nested up out here somewhere. We're in an area that I've caught a lot in the past before. It's a nice little shallow flat with a lot of structures, lily pads, there's some good hard bottom that they like to spawn on, and. I think we're both just feeling really confident we're going to get some today. Yeah. It is quite hot out here though. It's the, the hottest, hottest day. Yeah, it's the <laughs> hottest day of the year. And um, so we don't know how long we're going to make it out here today because we're really just not used to the weather. And we're out here at kind of the worst time of the day. It's literally like one o'clock. So Yee. it's really hot, but we're going to persevere and hopefully put some big bluegill in the boat today. So guys, if y'all are excited to join along on today's fishing adventure, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's hopefully have a day of smacking some big old panfish. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, so our plan of attack today to catch these bluegill and red ear is pretty simple. We're just going down the bank. We're in really shallow water, so we're using our polarized glasses to kind of see in the water and see if we can actually see those beds. Um, those beds underwater look like just big, round, dark craters. So if you can see a whole bunch of them piled up, you know you've landed on the jackpot. And I think I might have found a little spot right here. It doesn't have a whole lot of them. I can't really tell for sure. But I'm gonna pitch this little cricket out there and see if there's one out there. We'll know really quickly if those are beds or not because they'll just smash it. There he is. <laughs> Told you guys, it's really simple. Just going down the bank, looking for craters, and there we go. We got ourselves a nice little bluegill. It's not quite the size caliber we're looking for, so we'll toss him back, but hopefully there'll be some big ones down there with him. So we'll send him back, get rebaited, and we'll start working this area over and see if we can find some nice ones to put in the cooler. Oh gosh. Oh he, oh, he came up. He got it, he got it, he got it. There you go, there you go. <laughs> We're on them, guys. Well, there we go. It appears that we have indeed found ourselves an active bluegill bed. He's not super big, but hopefully there'll be some bigger ones down there. Yeah. We'll just toss him back in there and get back after it. We kind of pulled up on it really quick, and we made a big old dust cloud, which isn't ideal, but um, I think it'd be all right. And it looks like there's more of this going on up ahead. Oh, dang. It got smashed. Yeah, there's definitely some fish on there. But hopefully they're not all small bluegill. Got him. Oh. God, that's a bigger one. There we go. There we go. That is going to be our first keeper right there. Heck yeah, guys. Look at that. He's upside down, but that is a nice one. He's got those dark spawning colors. It's a great way to start. So we got this cooler here. Some ice. We'll toss him in there. Get back after it. Oh. Oh, it's a gar. Oh, I got a fish. Another nice one. Big old gar came up right behind us and got smoked by this nice chunky bluegill. There we go. Nice second keeper. Put him in here with his buddy. I feel like we're gonna get a lot of steps in on this boat today, Jay. Oh yeah. I got a feeling Jay's about to get smoked. She's in the zone. Oh, oh. there he oh, is. Good. Oh, that's a nicer one. Oh yeah. There we go. Get up in here. Yes. They are so pretty. They are pretty. I love when they get those spawning colors on them. Solid. Solid. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Oh, there we go. Another nice one. <laughs> Man, that fish is up in so skinny water up there. It's only like a foot or less and i just seen a little dark little blob looks like a bed and oh jay's got one too oh yeah oh these are bigger those are bigger oh. there's not very many potholes right there but they got fish on them there you go our first official daily double of the daily day double. and those are both keepers whoa there's one and two and two pitch back up in there see if there's any more chilling oh he's on there it's so shallow that's insane it's as soon as it's the water can't be mad at that. He's a little bit smaller. Not much smaller, but we'll throw him back. I'm actually going to get some a little bit bigger than, than the ones we've already caught, but the ones we caught are solid keepers, though. Whoop. Get smoked. He's on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. 
That's Clawing a stud. Through the pow, yeah. It's a really nice one. Woo! Can't be mad when they're biting like that. That's another beautiful bluegill. <laughs> Good size one too. They are just smashing these crickets. And I'm telling you, we both need to shallow up even more because it's only a foot deep out there. Yeah. How many, is it, how many is in there now? Six? Five? Five. Five? Five good ones. Five good ones. Who thinks we can make it six right here? Six good ones. Boom! Six good ones. Six good ones. <laughs> right through the lily pads. That might be my biggest one I've caught. He didn't fight that hard, but look at that. Just a thick, beautiful stud male bluegill. We look forward to this kind of fishing every single year because bluegill... Oh. I think they're probably our favorite fish to eat. What do you say, Jay? Oh yeah. They're I definitely... love cooking them in the skillet. Oh my gosh, they're so good. So, got a load up on these boys. We got some catfish last week. Got some crappie this winter, and now we're getting the bluegill right now. Jay lost her crickets, so I'm getting back up in here. She's hunting it down. They're chasing crickets over here. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's on there. Oh, that's a stud. That's a stud. That's a big one. Oh wow. That's a big one. He swam out of the lid pads. <laughs> I wonder how long these fish have been here. Like, this is our first time. Oh, it's a big diamondback. Where? Big diamondback. Right there. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, I want to eat a cricket. <laughs> so there's one I just caught, and Jay just caught hers. He ate it off the surface. I think I lost my sinker again. Are you serious? He ate the cricket off the surface. That was cool. That's another good one. Yo. Ah, how cool is, is that? Okay, there's mine. And there's mine. And there's Jay's. There's our catch so far. The only thing is, I wish this boat had some power poles because we are spinning all around. We don't want to spook these fish. We're kind of getting up on them. And it's so shallow, I don't want to like murk the water up with the trolling motor. So, we're going to figure out something. We'll try to pull the trolling motor up like this. Ease back up in here on top of these lily pads. Because the fish are literally 10 feet behind us now. Eat my cricket. I might be running out of fish. I'm telling you, that little that nest of fish right there is not very big. I see like five or six craters down there. Oh, got him. <laughs> and I think we've caught five or six already. So some of them might be double nesting. I'm not sure. I'm sure there's some spots we're not seeing, but no nice good keeper. We got crickets running all over the boat. Get them, Jake. <laughs> <Here you go. laughs> oh, you can give me a cricket? Yeah, I got one. Heck yeah, that's good bait service right there. <laughs> Who thinks Jay's gonna catch one? There he is. He's there. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Had a little hesitation. Oh no, we're in the oh, lily pad. There he comes. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, nice. Mighty. Nice. The slab queen's back at it. Back up to her dirty deeds. Smashing these bluegill. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Oops! Another solid bluegill. I think we'll throw him back. We've got a good mini from this spot. We'll probably, unless we catch one that's like really good sized. I think we about caught everything we're gonna catch in this spot. So we're gonna start making our way up this way really soon in case we start, unless we start just smoking them here again, but I'm just not seeing that happening. There's just not enough stuff right there, but there's a lot more good spots up this way. And I'm sure we'll find another place stacked up with some bluegill. All right guys, so we have a little bit of catching up to do. So after we left that spot where we were catching those bluegill at, we went around the bank for like another two and a half, maybe even three hours, and really didn't get on much of anything after. We caught a few little ones, and it was honestly kind of disappointing. We covered plenty of ground to find another nest of bluegill, but- And it, just, it was hot. Yeah, but it just didn't happen, <laughs> and it was really scorching hot. And I think that probably had a lot to do with our um, lack of success. We went out in the yeah. very middle of the day on the hottest day of the year, and um, it's not really prime bluegill fishing conditions. So we packed it in, we headed back to the house, but we're out here now, gonna try to do a little bit of bank fishing. We're gonna see if we can catch some here from the bank. We've caught a few here in the past, and uh, we have plenty, I guess, that we could eat tonight, but we're hoping to get just a few extra fish. I think we have maybe about eight or nine, maybe 10 in the cooler right now. And um, yeah, it'd just be nice to get a few bonus fish. So we're gonna cast around and uh, see if we can link up with a couple of big ones. Let's get started. Let's do it.
Okay, got my fresh cricket rigged up. Making the first cast here from the bank. Let's see if we can find something hanging out over here. Didn't really land exactly where I wanted to, but we're just gonna just fan cast around and see if they're posted up on this bank anywhere. Oh, it's gone. That's a nice one. That's a nice one, Jay. Oh, what is that? Oh, wow. Is that a red ear? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a hybrid. Oh, that's how big it is. It's a hybrid. Look at that. Oh, wow. Now that's what I'm talking about. Man, we took the boat out and everything, covered so many miles, <laughs> and all it is got here on the bank. And that's our biggest one. Heck yeah. Look at that. Beautiful, big hybrid. It's a hybrid between a bluegill and a red ear. That is awesome. Okay, he's definitely gonna be getting thrown in here into this cooler. That is sick. Get rebated and get back out there. Got you got one? I got one. Oh, Jay's hooked up. That looks like a nice one. Oh yeah. Woohoo! Oh. There we go. That's bigger than the ones we were catching out there, I think. Maybe about, the same, about size. the same size. Yeah, I guess you're right. He is about the same size as the bigger ones we were catching earlier, but it's still a good keeper. Really good fish. I wanted to catch a big red hair now. I know. Or <laughs> hybrid. But, uh, or hybrid, yeah. Yeah. But a, but a red ear would be juicy. Yeah. But let's go ahead and put him in here. One, two, three. Woo! Looking good. It's looking good in there. Oh, there oh, that's that a stud. Like a good one. That's a stud, JJ. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. Oh, gosh. oh big bluegill. Or is it a hybrid? Oh, it's a hybrid. Oh, yeah, baby. We were just talking about that. Oh, I missed one. Oh. Got him. <laughs> My bait was still in the water. We doubled up. Now, look at the size comparison between these two fish we just caught. This is like kind of borderline. I'm going to toss him back. Jay has got her really, really nice. That's a dandy. Really nice hybrid <laughs> bluegill red ear. That's the kind of fish we're after. Oh yeah. That's the fish we were hoping to catch whenever we were out in the boat. But yeah. you know, we don't care where we catch them at. We're just happy that we're finally on some. That's awesome. Good job. I can't really tell if there's like an actual bed out here or if there's like just roaming around. We're kind of catching them all over the place. And normally like you saw earlier when we were fishing on top of a bed, like as soon as the bait hits the water, that bobber's going down. It hasn't really been the case right here unless we just haven't really hit the sweet spot yet. Oh, way out there. Golly, he bit as soon as hit the water. Maybe they're chilling out there a little bit deeper. Little guy. Cute though. And I still got my cricket. I might get two fish out of this cricket. That's the only thing about using crickets is normally they're usually only good for about one fish. Oh. I think I found them, JJ. They're not very big over there though. Something just happened right there. I know, I don't know what that was. Maybe it was a bass. Be cool if we get a bass to eat our cricket. <laughs> Another nice little bluegill. See ya. Uh -oh. Gotcha. Gotcha. Ooh, fire. I'm smashing them. I got a little spot dialed in. Another pretty good one. We definitely kept some this size today, but I'm gonna let him go. We'll see ya. Oh, that, like that looks like a good one, Jay. Yeah. That thing's not even moving. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's a Mac Daddy bluegill. Look at the slabs on that guy. That might be the biggest one as far oh, as bluegill go. That thing is massive. <laughs> what a nice fish. <laughs> there he is. There he is. is. Oh, he's fighting back. Oh yeah. Big boy's done moved in. Oh, it's another little hybrid. Oh, wow. He's not as big as I thought he was, but since he's a hybrid, it's probably why he fought more. They always fight so hard. Yeah, they fight good. Those fish are beautiful. I almost like catching them more than I like catching red ear. Beautiful fish. I'll throw him back though. Yeah, he's not hes not quite big enough. Yeah, big ones only now. Oh, ho, ho. oh what's he doing? Are I think so. Oh, it's another hybrid. Look oh. at that. Yes. Dude, that was yes. awesome. Look how fat his tummy is. Look at that. Man, guys, I think we were simply just trying too hard earlier. We went all up and down the lake in our boat, couldn't find any fish, and now we're just back here on the bank and just wrecking them. It's so much fun. Look at that. Beautiful hybrid bluegill red-eared sunfish. You can see he's got his tail kind of beat up. Looks like a bass, you know, when they're on the bed, just been fanning, just working on it. Look at those dark black fins. Just really, really cool fish. We yeah. love catching them. But we're gonna get him off the hook and uh, there might be some more moving in. It's kind of, it started off kind of slow when we first got here, but I think that all this commotion got him excited. I think it was so big. Oh, shoot. 
Big Boss is on again. How's it feeling? Like a bluegill? Feeling like a bluegill. Feeling like a bluegill. <laughs> oh yeah. Cute little bluegill. Kind of chubby. Oh. Oh my goodness. Graceful release. He's upside down. Save him. Save him. Oh gosh. <laughs> Yeet. He wanted to get back out there. <laughs> he said I will not be going in that cooler today. Heck no. Oh, he smashed it. Golly. Smashed it. I love the variation in colors in these bluegill. They all just are just so unique in their own right. I mean, that one's so pretty. You got those light pink little stripes right there. Whoa. Big boss hooked up. How big is that? Whoa. What, what you got? What you got, a catfish? Whoa. That thing's fighting, right? Yeah, he's fighting. Oh, another hybrid. Oh, Let's yeah. go, baby. Let's go. Oh, that's, a <laughs> that's a dinner plate. Let me get mine off. Oh, that's a dinner plate, Jay. Woo! What a stud, Jay. That oh, thing yeah. is beautiful. He's peeing all over you. Look at that. I don't even care. <laughs> it's my favorite catch of the day. Look at that beautiful <laughs> hybrid. That thing is awesome. He's so big. That fish was fighting so hard. That's that amazing. Was fun. Yeah, if, they, if only they were all that big. We've definitely been on some beds before where they're all that big, but that is sick. Beautiful fish. Good job, Jay. Oh, ho, ho. Get up here. Yes. It's a good one. I think I'm gonna throw him in the cooler. He's a thick boy. You gotta get them while they're here. Because they could be gone tomorrow. That's for dang sure. Oh, oh, is that him? There he is. That's him, isn't it? That's him. That's a Golly. thick one. Golly, JJ. Come on, baby. Is it another hybrid? It looks like it. Damn. Yes, that's the one we needed. That's him. That's a perfect fish to end on right there. Dang, that's a nice one. That is a nice one to end on. Beautiful, beautiful hybrid. That's the fish we've been chasing all day. <laughs> we've got like six or seven of those now in the cooler with our bluegill. And I cannot wait to get these guys cut up and eat them tonight for dinner. We're gonna be eating good tonight. I know. We've been talking about this for a while. Like Jay has just been craving these fish. So I, yeah, I love eating bluegill. So we're gonna get this guy in the cooler. We're gonna get them all cleaned up here in just a moment. And uh, we'll see you guys at the cleaning table. All right, let's take a look at all of our fish we caught today. Here they are. We got some nice bluegill. Got some nice hybrid bluegill red ear combos there. And uh, we got a nice mess. I would say we got about, I don't know, probably under 20, probably like 17 or 18 fish in there with a couple of nice studs in there. I mean, look at that fish. Beautiful colors. But uh, now we are going to get to cleaning these bad boys up so we can eat them for supper. Let's go. Well, don't you look all clean and spiffy. Yes, I got so hot today. Are you hungry? Yes. <laughs> well, you're in luck because we have prepared a beautiful little panfish meal. We've just got some uh, blackened or just seasoned up uh, bluegill and hybrid bluegill fillets. Did that in a skillet on some butter and we got some brown rice. Super simple, super easy. We call that uh, Jessica's way. That's the yeah. way she likes to have it. <laughs> but it's super delicious. I just know it's going to be delicious because it always is. But let's just make sure. No one having forks. Yeah, no forks. <laughs> Cypress used all the forks. We're rocking two spoons today. Mm. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. That was just seasoned up with old bay. I didn't. I couldn't find the slappy mama for some reason. I don't know where what? it was at. It might have been on the counter. I just couldn't find it. But that's okay. Old bay is delicious. It does have a kick to it. Mm. Woo! But it's a good kick. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay and we are both really excited about today's episode. We are out here once again in the canoe on the edge of this gorgeous cypress tree swamp. Y'all love it when we come out here and make these videos in this location. Um, we were out here a few days ago and we caught some nice bluegill and red ear and a bonus catfish and we just we just had so much fun out there out here then that we decided to come back out here again today and try to get some more of that action. But the catch with today's video is that we don't have standard fishing rods today. We went to Academy this morning and we picked up some micro $10 fishing rods. These rods are awesome at and first tiny. sight. At first sight, yeah, <laughs> and extremely tiny. Like, I've got a little orange uh, spin cast push button reel 
and Jay has got a little spinning reel. She's nice. team yellow. Yeah, bright yellow. Bright oh. yellow. I'm team orange. And um, yeah, we have to catch all of our fish today on these little guys. Now I have honestly no idea how well these are gonna work. Um, like I said, they were $10 and they came pre-spooled with line. So I think all the value is basically in the fishing line. <laughs> um, as far as the specs go, I think they're two foot long. They each have one ball bearing. This one has a 3.0 to one gear ratio. Um, what's your gear ratio? Um, what's it say? I think it says right here. What's that say? Five, five to one. one. She's got the faster reel. I've got the slower reel. I'm not, I mean, like I said, I have no idea which one's gonna work better, but we decided to pick up one of each type to see, you know, which one works better. So maybe we can use them again in the future because honestly, these aren't bad rods to have for this type of area. Like when we go deep inside these trees, there's not very much overhead room to cast and you need a shorter rod mm -hmm. to, to, you know, to present your lure effectively in these places. So if they work out, it's awesome. And they were only 10 bucks. So we couldn't pass up on that. Now, along with the micro rods, we have a new bait today that we haven't used in ages. I don't think we've used it in several years. And uh, we used worms last time and it worked, but this time we've got green worms. Green worms. Are they alive? I didn't yeah, they're them alive. Them. Oh, and they cool. are very green, which is really cool. <laughs> Look at that. I'm not sure what makes them green. I guess they just dye them or something because they're just eating the same dirt. So I guess they just dye them green, but hopefully it'll be enough to catch some fish's attention and we'll catch some fish. They're leaving green juice on my hand. Yeah, I like these worms are alive. The ones we used the other day were mostly dead yeah. and like melted. I don't know what the dealio was with that. You always need to check your worms before you buy them to make sure they're alive. And I did not do that last time, but those should work. We're starting off here in the same spot we started off last time, but we're gonna make a trip all the way around this thing. We're gonna try to find the mother load of some big pan fish. So if you guys are into this type of video, which I think most of y'all are, you know what to do. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future wild and crazy fishing adventures. But with that said, I cannot wait any longer to try out <laughs> these little micro fishing rods. So let's get after it, Jay. Let's do it. All right, we are pulling out the first worm. I'm going to bait him on my hook and hopefully I'm going to catch the first fish. I hope you catch a catfish. Ooh, that'd be cool. If we catch a catfish on these little rods, that's going to be absolutely crazy. Or like a carp or something. These worms are very poopy. Look at that there. Messy. Gross. Poopy juicy worms. Maybe should have got crickets, but yeah, I like worms better than Actually, crickets. Actually, should have got a bigger piece of worm. <laughs> I'm going to add on a little bit more. Because in the last video, they didn't like the little pieces. Or they like, wanted the big pieces. Yeah, the big ones wanted the big pieces. Yeah. The little ones would just grab the tiny little piece of bait before the big ones could get to it last time. Okay. That looks good. All right. I want to see the first cast with that thing. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. I think they're spooled up with eight pound tests. I don't remember what the label said, but it should be fine. Let's see that inaugural first cast with the micro fishing rod. Not too bad. Well, that went too bad. Not too bad. You got like 20 feet, 30 feet with that. Oh, there's some fish over there. Can't Come you on, get bit? please catch one of my first casts. Come on. Okay. I'm gonna get a good one. Ready, set. Oh, there it is. There we go. There it is. Oh, you already oh got one. Oh, oh my let's go. Oh. Hey, they work. He's kind of a micro fish, so. Kind of. He's honestly about the same size as that reel. <laughs> yeah. It makes the it makes our small fish look bigger. Hey, that was not too bad. Uh uh. You know, a nice little sunfish. We've also got a cooler here with some ice. We're gonna throw some keepers in today. But you, my friend, are not a keeper, so you get to be swim free. <laughs> okay, Jay started the video off strong, catching her first fish on the yellow uh, spinning micro rod. Now I have to try out the casting version. I had a lot more faith in the spinning one just because I know they usually work better regardless, <laughs> but hopefully. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's oh my gosh, it's a big old bass. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on a second. We do have a bass rod in here. Full and audible. He's still there. Eat my bait. I'm like squatted down in here. Ah! I got, oh, I had him. Ah. Oh my gosh, that's a giant bass. What? Oh my gosh. He was a big guy. I hate those baits, that's too small. Oh, ah. something did it. Dang. Well, I almost caught him squatting down here in this boat. Failed to mention that we do have a couple of additional bass rods. When we were out here the other day, um, there were some bass coming up here periodically and we didn't have anything to catch them with. So we came prepared today, got a little topwater bait and that was a big one. It, that would be a good bonus fish, guys. <laughs> but okay, let's get back on track. That was crazy. Got the yellow or the orange push button micro rod. We're gonna send it. Oh, I almost threw it in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? I freaking rainbowed that thing. Cast good though. Oh, I got some distance. I'm over there where yours was at. 
Uh oh. Oh. Come on, eat it. I got him. Oh man. I got him. My dragon's flipping. <laughs> Is it big? I don't know. It looks oh, kind of good. It's definitely bigger than mine was. Oh, it's a good one. <gasps> it's what? a red ear. Are you kidding Just... me? Look at that, guys. Micro push button fishing pole and we got ourselves a nice keeper sized red ear like that's just as big and even a little bit bigger than some of the ones we caught in the last video that is awesome the only thing is that drag was slipping i had to tighten that thing up <laughs> and i can't really even tell how big they are because it's just like it's kind of a stiff little rod but yeah there we go there's our first keeper of the day a yeah, nice red yeah. ear like that is the fish that we were after right here today guys and of course a bonus big bass if we can get one but i'm good with the red ear I'm gonna Heck yeah. this is gonna be a fun day guys Get him, Jay. Get oh, him, Jay. good one. Yes. Woo! <laughs> there we go. He's a little bit bigger than my last one. Oh, gosh. But he's not quite big enough to keep, so we're going to throw him back, get back out there. This is actually really fun. I know. <gasps> yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. 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 Yeah, baby. <laughs> Check it out. I got my first red ear on my micro fishing rod. Wow, that was so much fun. That dude was ripping. He was yeah, fucking crazy. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Um, he's probably still a little too small to keep, so, I think so. I'm gonna throw him back and we're gonna catch a bigger one. I just know I am. Yeah, I think especially at the pace that we're catching them, like yeah. should be no issue catching several nice sized panfish today. Woo! Good job, Jay. Well, that's a bite, isn't it? Oh, a good one. Good oh, one. yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! All right, we are now working our way into the swamp, and I've got the first fish, a nice little bluegill. That is a nice one. Um, Still not big enough. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a nice one. I mean, he's borderline. You could yeah. definitely you could definitely keep an eat one that size. But I'm just saying I'm really loving this rod. Right <laughs> this is, like, so much fun. We're going to have to get you a whole arsenal, and we can get you, like, yeah. six or seven, one of every color. All right. Bye. Oh gosh. Got him. Got him. Got him. Little guy. There's my, I think my third fish. Nice little bluegill. Not the size we're after. Big one. That's a big one. Woo! Oh yeah, he is fine. Good. Oh my gosh, that is a really nice one. Now that is what's up, JJ. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. And oh my goodness, so much fun fighting it on this rod. Did you see the fish take off? He did, he tried to go up underneath that grass mat Woo! right there. So we actually just circled back over here to the spot where we first caught our fish. We weren't catching anything in the really deep swamp here, so I guess they're hanging out here more on the edge. That's a That's nice, a nice one. one. Heck yeah. Definitely a keeper and definitely the biggest one we've caught so far. You want more look at that bad boy? That is a nice red ear, Jay. Moving there with this buddy. He's been lonely. Finally, one for me and one for you. Let's go. <laughs> That's a good bite right there. Oh yeah. That's oh man. One. Oh yeah, baby. Another good one. Woo! Nice bluegill. Heck yeah. All right, just moments after catching that red ear, we got our first bluegill keeper. That's a good one. Yes! Hand-sized, big old brims out here next to the swampy edge right here. They're just, they're not really biting like crazy, but every time we move up like five or six feet, we catch one. Right. So they're kind of spread out, but that's okay. We'll do what we gotta do to get them. That's a nice one, he's pretty too. Yeah, he is pretty. He looks even better in here though. Am I right? Am I right? Looks quite tasty. Comment below if you think we're right about that. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. The drag is squealing. The drag is squealing, but I think he's small. <laughs> that little guy right there has that drag peeling. It's a little female bluegill. Bit as soon as it hit the water. I kind of rainbowed the cast and my line was kind of over a tree branch, so it took me a second to get back down there to it. <laughs> That's awesome. Also, like I mentioned, this one here has a three, a, a stunning tell you 3.0 to 1 gear ratio as opposed to jay's faster reel so she has the edge in that category but i think i might have the edge in casting i think this one's easier to cast than hers there's pros and cons to each of our micro setups but they're both ripping them oh 
Oh, he's strut. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, yeah. Big one. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, Get unstuck. On. Get unstuck. Woo! Good one. Yeah. Nice. You think that plane can see my micro fishing rod, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I finally got another keeper. A nice male bluegill. Not a bad fish at all. These fish are biting weird. It's like either they bite it as soon as the bait hits the water or they don't bite it at all. I'm not really sure what's up with that. You would think you could just soak it and jiggle it around in their face and they would eventually come to it, but that just really hasn't been the case. So we're letting the bait sit out there for like five or six seconds. We don't have them. We just reel it back in. But this guy is going in here and we've got two red ear and two bluegill. Woohoo! Not bad. Not bad for a little micro rod fishing day. <laughs> Ooh, I thought I was about to get hungry. I got another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Let's get up here. I kind of like the drag going. Woohoo! There we go. Next cast after catching that keeper bluegill. This one here is just a little bit smaller. Toss her back. There's way to get these things lower. Might push them up. Oh, you got one, Jay. Oh, it's a good one. That's a good one. He just flew out of the water. Oh, it was definitely a nice red ear. Dang. Dang, we were fidgeting with these rods we have in the boat right here, and he was just slurping on it. Dang. Oh, I got a fish. Whoa. Tighten up that drag. He's in the grass. I think he's still on there, too. He's still on there. Oh, oh it's a good one. Oh, we got a fish and some grass. Is that a keeper? Hey. Oh, he's looking kind of sickly. I was not paying attention. I heard a bass jump and um, I started feeling my line getting pulled out. And it was this nice little bluegill here. Nice one. Okay, that is the smallest one that I've caught in a while. They can't all be big ones, but hey, big or small, these fish are fun to catch. <laughs> yeah, and he's still, I mean, he's still just like I said, kind of like some other ones, borderline. You could definitely eat that fish, but we're going for the slabbier size yeah. panfish out here in the swamp today. So I guess we'll send him back and keep looking for that lunker. Here we go. Boop. Nice. Fish on, fish on. Feels good, looks good, is good. It's a good one. Yes, another red ear. There we go, guys. Finally got another red ear. It's kind of been kind of been slow the last like 15, 20 minutes. We haven't had a whole lot of bites. We've been kind of just moving around out here, trying to locate some schooled up fish. But like I said earlier in a couple of times already in this video, they're just kind of just spread out. They're not grouped up in big wolf packs. Just one here, one there. You'll make a cast by a certain stump or log and get bit, but that's another nice keeper. We also saw some more bass activity that kind of got us excited, but we didn't we didn't catch any, but we're still holding out hope we can get a big old bass too. Fish on. Get over that log. <laughs> yes. Yes. Not a bad one. Not quite a keeper, but we moved our way back up in here into the swamp again. And uh Looks like there's some fish hanging out on this side. Like <laughs> oh, fish on! Uh-oh. 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 I don't know if he's still on. Oh, he's still on there. <laughs> he's just not very big. <laughs> Goodness. That little dude got me all wrapped up on that tree. That's one thing about these short rods. They're hard to get these fish maneuvered out of tight situations. Tiny guy, we might have found a school of little guys over here. Got him. Dinks. Oh, doubles. Finally, we got our first double of the day. Double dinks. Double dinks. What's up with that, Jay? We came in here thinking we were going to catch some big ones, and all we're know. catching are dinks in this spot. I don't know. It's a pretty environment, though. That's for dinks here. Yeah. It's a beautiful spot to catch fish. Okay guys, so we are off the lake now. The fish has absolutely quit biting on us. I'm not sure what the dealio was. Maybe it's just the timing of the day, but 
Anyways, we had a great time out there, didn't we? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. We caught a good a good many fish. I'm gonna say we caught a ton of fish. We caught probably somewhere between 20 and 25 fish all together, maybe. We got some good bluegill, we got some good red ear. We didn't get anything super crazy. We didn't catch any big bass or any catfish, catfish. but that's okay. Jay, on a scale from one to 10, how would you rank your micro rod fishing experience today? Um, I would give it a good eight out of 10. Good eight out of 10? Yeah. I honestly, I really enjoyed it. Like this was really easy to cast and it's a pretty stout little rod too. Like I feel like I could handle any fish with it. So. Yeah, and it's super lightweight because yeah. it's only like a foot and a half long. So it definitely wasn't any sort of fatigue. You know, uh -uh. There wasn't any fatigue after fishing with it all day or all afternoon long. No. And I really like this little spin cast guy right here. He casted really, really well. I think that that one might've been easier to cast than this guy. I'm not exactly sure. I casted that one a few times and it felt like this guy was the way to go, but we also had some issues. It would kind of get stuck on the inside and I don't think he had any issues with I that I did video. not have any issues with this reel. Yeah, so I definitely think yeah. there's pros and cons to each setup, but both definitely valuable in our arsenal. We should probably just sell all of our super expensive <laughs> bass rods and just buy like a thousand of these guys. Yeah, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a fishing pole, just get one of these. Yeah, literally 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Like we have some combos that are like $500 and we could literally sell it and get 50 of these things. And I'm definitely really excited <laughs> because I am definitely going to be trying to catch some crappie on this. I want to catch some big catfish too. Yeah, big catfish. Woo, that'd be so much fun. So with that, I think that this is where we're going to wrap up today's fishing adventure. We thought about catching and cooking these fish, but we decided we'll just clean them later and we'll eat them on our own time. Yeah. But um, guys, we hope that y'all enjoyed the video. If so, do us a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Let us know also if you would like to, what kind of fish you'd like to see us go after with yeah. the micro rods, because we're definitely going to be incorporating them into some more videos in the future. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole here with Dakota. We're out here in this little sneaky little fishing spot and we're targeting some big daddy panfish today. We've got jigs, we've got the secret jig, we've got crickets, we've also got some minnows in case we need them. And we've got a few bass baits in case we see some crazy bass, but the main target today is big panfish, big bluegill, big red ear. This place actually has big red ear. It has like average size bluegill. You could find some big ones, but Dakota's been smashing some big red ear like all spring long. Um, and just this past week, he got on a nice bay. He said, dude, you need to come out here and try to, try to smash some with me. And so that's what we're gonna try to do. We've got overcast conditions. This place is very shallow, very weedy. It's very strange. Dakota is on the board. What is it? Is that a, what the heck even is that thing? That's a gotta be a warm mouth, right? Uh, that's like, that's like a, just a, just a very light colored warm mouth. It's ugly. It's kind of ugly. He got like, oh, I don't even know. Oh. Uh. Ew, humpback Notre Dame. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, uh, Hopefully we catch some a little bit more quality than that. That's a nice fish. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, but there you go guys. Like I said, overcast conditions, a little bit rainy, a <laughs> little bit breezy, good fishing conditions. And we're hoping to find them stacked up somewhere. There's a lot of kind of just not really like dead water, but there are spots in this place that are very much so high percentage areas that we're gonna go. Well, that was weird. My camera died. So we're off to a great start already. But as I was trying to say, we're going to have some fun today. We're going to try to catch some fish. Hopefully y'all are pumped for it. If so, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. It shows that a lot of y'all that y'all are, that are watching our content are not subscribed. So do me a solid, do it for me, do it for Jay, do it for the kids, do it for Dakota, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 300,000 subscribers this year. And at this rate, it's not gonna happen, but we are really close. So subscribe to the channel, show your support, show some love, and I'll try to do my best and catch the fish for y'all. See you guys when we get to the little juicy spot down here. There you go. Fish on, baby! Hey! There we go, first fish of the day on the very first cast with the old secret jig. It's a decent little bluegill. Not a monster monster. You could keep it and eat it. We're gonna look for something just a little bit larger than this. Toss them back, secret jig underneath a little trout magnet float about 10 inches. Back underneath the tree. We got this one little willow tree hanging out and it seems like there's some commotion in the ocean under there. Oh, Dakota's dock shooting. That's pretty salty. I, I kind of surprised myself. I know, I was like, you're out there going to hit the grass, hit the little rushes right there. Now I'm going to go out, around, and back under. Yeah. Ooh. Oh! Oh! He's smoking. 
Yeah, my glasses ain't too great right now either with this overcast. That was terrible. <laughs> There's our second fish. Really colored. But he's got a big old ear. Big old dark black ear. We're looking for some red ears today. And this is the place to do it. Pretty fish. A little baby stud. We call that a little baby stud around here. We call that one a, a cut the head off and scale him and fry him size guy. Oh gosh. Oh, it was a bigger one, dude. No. No. No, it was a small one there. <laughs> oh my gosh. My cast is not great. Oh gosh. They don't care. They don't care. They're loaded right there underneath that little tree. Yeah, there's a bunch of gills. I was not sure how many red ear in there. This is where I caught my big red ear. Oh, That's snap. That's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. I'm making some doo doo cast for that. <laughs> it's not a bad one right there, guys. Secret jig. Beauty. That one there's the biggest one. I'm gonna start. There's a lot of fish in this place, so we don't really we're not really in a rush to start throwing in the bucket. But if things go southward a little bit, that guy is gonna be on the menu. There's some gar, some bass. The gar ain't popping today. I guess it's cool, but dude, out here during the sunshine, it's just gar, literally. Biggin, biggin, biggin. That's him. Yeah. Yeah. A little hybrid action. Bucket of him or stringer him. Finally, guys, we are hooked up with the pride and joy of this little place. Look at the thickness of that guy. It's a little hybrid bluegill red ear. Thing's beauty. Thick boy. I think I missed him like eight. Oh, he's peeing all over my leg. Ew. Good luck. Hey, look at this. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> I could have just tilted that up just a little bit and that would have been all in your grill. But look at that fish. A beautiful little hybrid. I think I'm gonna put them on the stringer. You wanna get one out of my bag? Yeah, I got You can like reach in, you can like literally, yeah. I don't have to, oh, 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 oh. Nice bluegill. Nice bluegill. So Dakota's throwing a crappie magnet. And these aren't crappie. And um, <laughs> these are, most of these bluegill are, I mean, they're not, these could definitely eat a crappie magnet all day. But they're eating this little secret jig a lot better. Hey, it's in my little zipper pocket right here. Right here. The big yeah, zipper. And it's in the it's in the yellow box. You'll see the yellow box. Oh, yep. And you just kind of slide it out. You do what you want. Oh, I'm about to get smoked. Yes, that's a nicer bluegill. Oh, Dakota's trying to push me in the water. He's trying to get... There you go. That one there ain't bad. Chunky one, I keep him on any other day. I probably will keep him later today. But we're going to try to find ourselves a nest that's loaded up with more um, red ear and hybrids. If we can get on that, we want that. And bigger bluegill. No disrespect to that one I just caught. Oh, I think all those red ear just over there. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah, it is a little red ear, isn't it? Yep, they're just on the outside over there on the other side. That, oh, it's, I know it's a hybrid. It's like a green sunfish red ear hybrid. Thingy. Legit, dude. This thing is sick. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I ain't seen one of those here yet. That's a good one. Look at that. There are some crazy hybrids in here, though, dude. Oh, that needs to do. Oh, that was sick. That was sick. That was sick. You need to set your GoPro down there and do that. That was sick. I literally just bounced this thing right in front of him. Oh, he's about to eat your crap? He's thinking about it? Oh, he's about to suck it off the bottom. Dude, there is so many blue yellow right here, guys. And they're not the biggest. They're all about the same size. And they're just, they're just chilling. They're really acting like they're not scared at all. No decent little guy. Good little prelim to what I think is going to end up happening. I just went right back to the exact same hole. Are you kidding me? He literally went right to the same spot. I saw that, dude. That's cool. Yeah, watch how fast this thing gets smoked. Go for one of the bigger ones. Oh. 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 -ho -ho. <laughs> they like crickets. Who knew? Oh, yeah. They didn't think twice about that one. That was crazy. Crazy how fast that was. Pretty gills. Still got my cricket. Yeah. <laughs> Still got a little piece on there.
Oh, he got it! He got it! Yes, got me a red ear. So this is a straight up purebred red ear right here. That's nice. He's kind of he's kind of lean. Oh, you get smoke? Huh? You get smoke? No, it's jumping it over that tree. There we go. Nice little red ear. I'm actually sending him back. He's kind of lean, kind of skinny. Yeah. We'll send him back, but there's my first official shell cracker of the day. Here you go, guys. We're hooked up. We're hooked up. Big red ear. That's what I'm talking about. He's going on the string. Yeah. Going on the string. We were just cruising to the next spot. We saw this one, threw at him, and he just... Oh, you got one ch chasing you. Oh, the oh, coast, oh, what is it? I can't tell if it's a donkey red ear or a blue eel or what. But there we go. A nice red ear. Kind of a weird color. Looks like he got some thick sides on him. He'll probably color up a little more once we uh, get him, on, get him on, this, on the stringer. Get him back in the water. Get him on that ice. Just to me, there's like, honestly, hardly anything that's more beautiful than a colored up red ear. Ooh. Oh, that just letting it shoot. Oh. What is that? Is that a red ear? It's a, it's a bluegill green sunfish hybrid, I believe. Oh. Crazy looking little hybrid. Look how blue his face is. Yeah, I think there's going to be some red ear under that mat. Beautiful fish. So we made our way over here to this little spot. It's a little bit deeper. We got some grass that's actually matted up and it's kind of formed a canopy. And there's a pretty good amount of water underneath it. There's a hole over here on this side. There's a hole in front of me. I'm getting smoked every cast and that, oh, it's a nice one. That's a good one, that's a big red ear. Big red ear, right on cue. That's what we were looking for. We were hoping that some red ear would stack up underneath it. For the most part, this, this place is very uniform in structure, so looking for anything that stands out. And that's another, just really pretty. They're so pretty out here. It's different. A lot of places where I catch red ear, they're all barred up. These are just kind of just a nice little shade of bright green to yellow. That's cool, he's going on the string. On the secret jig, I just cast it up and let it sit there for a second. Oh, that's a nice bite. That was a I nice know. bite. There, there's some red ear under that mat. Hopefully. Oh, no, no! Don't come off the stringer. Don't come off the stringer. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Yeah, we're good. I just looked up and I see him swimming away. They were, they were going. <laughs> That, that fresh one, he was he was hot. <laughs> he said, I'm out of here. He said, I'm out of here. I was trying just to set it in the grass. They really weren't doing anything. And that one there was like, nah, fam, I am not giving up without a fight. Oh, let's see. Actually, actually. They are. Actually. No. Nope. It's a big old hump head, missing fin bluegill. This is the grass that we're fishing around, guys. It's very stringy. It's kind of a, I don't even know what kind of grass it is. It's unique. Look at the fin. Look at the look at the cut in the dorsal in the dorsal fin. It's a big female. Might be a male. Might be just a weird colored male. Oh, is that a good one? Pretty good one. Pretty good one. Another big hybrid looking thing. That's a good fish. We're gonna throw him on the stringer. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay, and today we are going to show you how you can catch a fish using a Coke can. Let's go. Woo! 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 Oh, he's already on there. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! You got it. That's a good one. Oh, big it, big it, big it, big it, big it. All right, so using a Coke can for a fishing rig may sound crazy, but it is an excellent minimalist approach to catching some fish, and it's a lot of fun to do. You don't need a whole lot of gear to do it either. So all we have here is our Coca-Cola can, and of course, any soda can will work, but for today's video, we're gonna be using the old-fashioned Coke can. Now, along with that, we have a spool of line, and then you're gonna want something on the end of your line to catch the fish. So we have a little terminal tackle box here. We have some hooks, some sinkers, some bobbers, and then we're gonna bait that up with some night crawlers. All right, so let's start putting this fishing rig together. So first off, you're gonna need a can and you're gonna make sure that it has the tab on the end. If you don't have this tab, it's not going to work because this is where we're going to be attaching our fishing line. So we're gonna start by tying the line to the tab and then we're gonna wrap the line around the can as much as we feel necessary. So probably like 
20, 30, maybe 40 yards even, but you're probably not gonna be able to cast it that far unless you're really trying to fling it out there really far with some heavy weight, but we'll probably do 20 yards of line on there to start with, and if we need more, we can put more on there later. So let's start off by getting some line off this spool and getting it onto the can. Okay, so let's take our line, wrap around that tab, and we'll just tie just some basic overhand knots just to get it secure to the can. And today we're using six pound test line we found whenever we're making these Coke can rigs that lighter line is better because you're able to cast it further. All right, that should be good. We'll cut that tab end off and then we'll start wrapping it around the can. Okay, so now that we have our fishing line attached to the tab, we're gonna start wrapping it around the can. It's gonna act as our spool. So it's easy, just wrap it all the way around and fill it up as much as you feel necessary. We're gonna give a bunch of wraps, make sure we have plenty of lines so we can cast as far as possible. All right, that looks pretty good. All we have to do now is attach our hook, our sinker and bobber, and we are ready to fish and show you guys how this thing works. We have officially completed making our Coke can fishing rig. We've got the bobber, the sinker, and the hook on there. All we need to do is bait this thing up, cast it out here into this fishing spot, and see if we can catch some fish. I know this looks super crazy to y'all, but I promise you, it's going to work, and we're able to catch some really nice fish on this thing. Okay, we just got our mini Coke can fishing rig baited up with a nice piece of juicy night crawler. And I'll take a second to show you guys the spot we're gonna be fishing at today. We've chosen to take this micro fishing rig to a micro fishing spot right here. This is actually um, a little spillway area. There's a big giant pond on the other side of this, and all the water flows into here, and it looks like whatever fish might be in this spot are gonna be trapped because that water is not able to flow into the creek right there. So hopefully there's a large concentration of fish here, and hopefully we'll be able to catch one on our Coke can fishing rig. I'm excited. Okay, here we go. Let's do the first cast. I'll show you guys how this works. We have our line onto the Coke can. All you're really gonna do is you're just gonna make a basic casting motion like this and the line's gonna fly off the spool or off the Coke can and out into the water. So let's try it out. Y'all ready? <laughs> here we go. <laughs> nice. Wasn't our best cast, but it'll work. So what you'll do if you get a bite You'll just set the hook with your arm like this, and then you'll reel them in much by reeling the line back onto the coat can spool. All right, let's cast it back out there. Our first cast was not very impressive. Here we go, next cast. There we go. That much was better. good. Oh, I see some fish coming. They're swimming towards it. Oh, he bit it. <gasps> he bit it. Oh, we got him. Oh, we my got goodness. Him. Oh, my gosh, the fish is flying. Is he still there? Oh, he came off. No. No. Y'all see that? We almost had our first fish on the coat can rig. Dang it, he didn't get our bait though. Seems like we have some smaller fish biting about. I saw a couple of good sized ones just swim around, so hopefully we'll get one of those big ones in a second. Toss it back out there. Oh, oh my gosh, there was already one on there. This is challenging. Oh my gosh, there's so many fish in there. They're like fighting for it. Go oh, there you go. Go on, stay on there. Stay on there. Stay on there. Stay on there. There you stay go. Come up here. Come on. Yeah! Woo! You got him! Heck Woo! yeah! <laughs> nice! We did it! We got our first fish. It's a little bluegill. Not bad. Not a bad start. This is the guy who was down there trying to steal our bait earlier. There we go. It wasn't pretty, but we got the job done. <laughs> proving that you can actually catch a fish with a Coke can fishing rig. Man, that was awesome. I just didn't do that as good as it could have been. That could have been a lot smoother. I just got too hype about it. <laughs> that is awesome. First fish, nice little bluegill. I've definitely seen some in there bigger than this one, so let's see if we can get him back in the water and maybe catch one twice the size of this one. Hey, not bad for catching one on a Coke can. Not bad at all. Let's send him back and see if we catch an even bigger one. <laughs> nice. All right, Jade's getting her Coke can rigged up. She's about to try to catch her first fish on the Coke can today. <laughs> Feeling pretty excited about it? I'm very excited. There's a ton of fish in this little hole. It's actually pretty surprising. I know. I They're didn't like see that. going crazy as soon as your bait hits the water. I don't know. They must be starving. Probably. <laughs> Poor guys. Poor guys. Hey, I'm about to feed them though. And it makes it a lot easier for us. <laughs> All right, let's see that form. Oh, that was nice. Ooh. It was awesome. Oh, he's already on there. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. You got him. That's a good one. What? Really, oh, really, 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 really. That was instant. These fish are fired ah! up. These fish Man. are fired up. Don't come off. Don't come off. Pull them up. Nice. Like a boss. Like a boss. <laughs> First cast. You made that look easy. Okay, that was way too easy. <laughs> I know. It took me like five tries to hook one. Oh my goodness. Dang, beautiful little bluegill. That's a female, looks like. Not as big as I thought it was originally, but still, beautiful fish, and you caught it on a Coke can. My very first cast. Imagine what? somebody imagine somebody dumped us off here 
and we had to survive when he only gave us a coat can, a fishing line, and a hook. I think we could survive. We would survive. We would survive if we could make a fire and build a shelter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. That was awesome. Beautiful little fish. I mean, that is a gorgeous bluegill. Yeah, really pretty. Awesome. All right. Okay, that was really fun. <laughs> See, See you later. Can't she go two for two? Oh, yeah. you almost sent it all oh the way. No way. Oh, I had one. I think he's still there. Uh, he's. Oh, he got. No, he's still there. No, I still got one. No way. Uh, Dang, you almost casted that thing all the way across this little water hole. Heck yeah, I think he's a little bit smaller, but that's okay. That's okay. They're fired up. It's instant. Yeah. <laughs> Very little guy. <laughs> yeah, but that's still fun. You know, if we caught that on conventional gear, you know, we would just laugh at that, not be very pumped about it. But, you know, the Come fact on. that we caught it on a Coke can. A Coke can, are you kidding me? <laughs> that makes it so cool. All right, we're still looking for that lunker though, so let's send him back and let's get a monster. Peace. <laughs> nice job, Jay. There we go, pretty good. Oh gosh. He's on there? Oh. Got him. Oh, got him! Got him! He's on there. Oh. <laughs> Goodness gracious! I got that epic hook set. No. <laughs> can't. Man, can't I don't know hang. what the I don't know what the gear ratio is on that coke can, but it's not very fast. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! Oh. Another nice little bluegill. So nothing too crazy out of this little hole, I but I have a good feeling we're gonna catch something big out of here in a moment. Nice fish, Jay. Whoop. Peace. Hey, we need a new worm. Yeah, let's get let's get rebaited. Let's start casting all around this hole and let's see if we can catch the monster in this little puddle. <laughs> Alright, so Jay and I both have our coat can fishing rigs rigged up. We're gonna cast at the exact same time and we're gonna see who can catch a fish the quickest. So basically cast same time, hook a fish, and reel it in. But you have to land it. You can't like lose it. Nope, you got you gotta land it, take it off the hook and everything. It. Yep. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Set. Go. Oh we got oh, oh crap. Come on, fish. Oh, no! I got one! Oh I got him! Dang it. That fish is so small. Ah! What? You beat me with the most midget looking fish. That's what I'm talking about. Dang it. I've got one right now. Oh, no. oh. oh he came off. This is the puddle monster. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Oh gosh, I got bit again right underneath my feet. All right, good job, Jay. You win. Fair Send him back. back. All right, let's see him catch the biggest fish now. Yeah. Forget that mess. Fish on. Fish on. It's another little guy. That's okay. Oh. Beggars can't be choosers in this game. Look at that. Another nice little sunfish on the coat can rig, but he is very shrinky. We're gonna keep fishing here for a while, but if we don't catch any good ones, we might try to sneak over and fish in this big pond behind us, see if we can catch a big one out of it. Oh, there we go. There we go, fish on. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger on the coat can. There we go. <laughs> a nice little bluegill. Man, I really want to catch a monster. One thing though about catching a big fish on the coke can is that we have to, you know, kind of basically hand line him. And there's the potential of them actually like cutting our hands with the line. Oh well, it'll be worth it. Uh oh, Jay's got a nice bite. I think he's there. Oh, there he is. Nice. Nice. <laughs> We're getting better at it. We're getting better at it. We're reeling them in faster. Getting some good hook sets. Tiny little male bluegill. The fish we first caught were definitely bigger than these ones though. Yeah. I see a good one right here though, right by the bank. It looks like a big green sunfish. Oh, big one. Big one. Big one. Jay's got a big one. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, oh she dropped your can. I'm a train He's still there. He's still there. He's taking me in the grass. <laughs> What is that? Oh, there's a green sunfish. Oh, it is a green sunfish. Nice. Yay, new species. Nice fish, Jay. I might've got a little ahead of myself when I say he was a big one, but he's definitely larger than the last ones you've caught. He is, but yeah, still not the monster we're looking for. Yeah, really nice green sunfish. We're gonna fish here a little longer, see if we can catch ourselves an even bigger one.
There he is. There he is. There he is. What? What is that? New species. <laughs> That is a beautiful fish. Take a look at that one, guys. What a beautiful fish. This is a warmouth sunfish, and I caught him literally right underneath my feet. I saw him eat that worm, and that is exciting. What a beautiful fish. I love their bright red eyes. Look at that. They got the big old vicious mouth. This guy's not a monster, but when these guys get big, they are really, really cool. They have, like, this awesome camouflage pattern. What a cool fish. Send it back. Whoa! Woo, woo, woo. There's my biggest fish. There's my biggest one of the day. Woo, hoo, hoo, look at that. We finally got ourselves a decent sized fish out of this thing. Heck freaking yeah, that is a nice bluegill. Not the biggest bluegill I've ever seen, but the biggest one we've caught out of this spot so far today. What a really nice fish to catch on the Coke can. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Anyways, we're going to let this fish go, and what I think we're going to do is we're actually going to sneak over here into this pond, and we're going to see if we can catch some fish bigger than this one over there. We will see you later, big guy. Get big. Woo! There he goes. Nice. All right, we just made our move over here to the other side of the spillway where the big pond is at. We're going to start off by fishing right here um, next to this grass edge and see if we can catch ourselves an even larger bluegill. Already got a bite. Oh, here. Nope, missed him. Got him, got him, got him. I can't tell how big he is. I can't tell, he's gotta be bigger than the last one. Oh, nice one. Look at that. Look at there. Moved over to the big water and we started catching some bigger bluegill. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? <laughs> that one there's about hand sized. Wow, he was right here in the scummy stuff. Maybe we should've been fishing over here the whole time. <laughs> we got lured in by all the crazy fish over there. Nice, he's kind of skinny though. Still a big one. Peace. I think he's bigger than the one I caught down there in the spillway. <laughs> he's not that big, but... He's bigger than what we were catching, didn't he? Is he? Well, I think I just got ahead of myself again. He's <laughs> a little bit bigger, but he's not much. Not much bigger, but still a nice one. Oh, my bait's gone. I got one. I got one. This is the juice right here. What are you doing? This is the juice. Look at that. Not like my last one. It's like the one that Jay just caught, but still. We should have been fishing over here the long time ago. Those ones in the spillway area were super small. Now we're having fun. Whoa! Whoa that's a big that's fish. A that's a big one. Ah! Come here! Yeah, baby! Woo -hoo -hoo. That's what I'm talking about. Why were we not fishing over here earlier? We're so silly! I know, that's a nice one. That's what I'm talking about. He's gonna be close to being the biggest one we've caught today. Really nice bluegill. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I mean, literally right here in the scummy crap. <laughs> That's awesome. Woo, let's catch another one. Oh, big hook set. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Get up here. Get up here. What is that? That's another bluegill. Nice. A little bit bigger female. I ain't mad at it. Had to give him a little bit bigger of a hook set. Made a long cast and got that one. Heck yeah. Let's try right here by the spillway drain thing. Could be a good spot for one. Oh, biggin, 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 biggin. I'm pulling him up. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Nice, nice. Look at that, a big old warm mouth. What? All right, well, I think that this is the perfect fish to end the coat can fishing mission with. A beautiful warm mouth sunfish, our biggest fish of the day much larger than the first one we caught i mean this guy is awesome look how big his mouth is that guy is so cool <laughs> such a cool fish to end this trip on we're gonna send this fish back over here into the spillway little area or the little spillway drain where we caught him and we're gonna get out of here Well, this is where we're gonna to conclude today's episode. We had a great time showing you guys how to set up and fish with the Coke can fishing rig. And we were very happy we were able to catch some fish on it today. And we hope that this video helps open your eyes a little bit and makes you realize that there really is an endless amount of ways that you can go out and catch a fish. 
Guys, do y'all have any ideas for some future DIY um, fishing gadgets that we can come up with and possibly catch fish with on in the future? Leave those ideas down in the comments section. And if you guys enjoyed today's episode, we would greatly appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.